Ibrahim Chawal, born 1988, is a Burkina B military officer who has been the interim leader of Burkina Faso since the 30th September 2022 coup d'etat, which ousted interim President Paul Henry Sandago Damiba. At age 34, Chawal is currently the youngest serving president in the world. Ibrahim Chawal was born in Bondokui, Mohan province. After receiving his primary education in Bondokui, he attended a high school in Ibobo Dolasso, where he became known as being quiet and very talented. From 2006, he studied at the University of Ogadugu, where he was part of the Association of Muslim Students. He graduated from the university with honors. Chawal joined the army of Burkina Faso in 2009 and quickly began to climb the ranks. He was sent to Morocco for anti-aircraft training before being transferred to an infantry unit in Kaya, a town in Burkina Faso. Promoted to lieutenant in 2014, Trawal joined MINUSMA, a United Nations peacekeeping force involved in the Mali War. In 2018, he was cited as one of the MINUSMA soldiers who showed courage during major rebel attacks in the Tombuktu region. He subsequently returned to Burkina Faso where he assisted in operations against escalating jihadist insurgency. Trawal fought in the Otapanu Offensive of 2019 and several other counter-insurgency operations in the country's north. He was promoted to captain in it. Part of the group of army officers that supported the January 2022 Burkina Faso coup d'etat and brought the patriotic movement for safeguard and restoration military junta to power. From March 2022, he served as the head of an artillery regiment in Kaya. Whether he was ever associated with the Cobra Special Forces, a counter-terrorism unit founded in 2019, is disputed. According to the several sources such as BBC Al Jazeera, he was part of the unit at some point. However, news magazine Jeune Afrique stated that he was never associated with the Cobras. Many supporters of the January coup became dissatisfied with the performance of Paul Henry Sandago Damiba, the junta's leader, regarding his inability to contain the jihadist insurgency. Chowell later claimed that he and other officers had tried to get Damiba to refocus on the rebellion, but eventually opted to overthrow him as the ambitions were diverting away from what we set out to do. The dissatisfaction about the situation was the highest among younger officers who fought against rebels at the front lines. In addition, there were delays in pay for the Cobra troops when the protesters launched their coup on 30th September. Chawal still held the rank of captain. The operation was carried out with support of the Cobra unit. In the direction aftermath of the coup, Chawal declared himself the new head of the Patriotic Movement for Safeguard and Restoration. 6th October, he also assumed the position of interim president as head of state, supreme head of the armed forces. He promised to hold democratic elections in July 2024. In February 2022, Chawali's government expelled the French forces assisting in fighting the local insurgency from Burkina Faso. He subsequently declared that we really want to look at other horizons because we want win-win partnerships, supporting the diversification of Burkina Faso's international partnerships. Shortly after, Trawoli's government expressed support for a federation with Mali and both invited Guinea. All three countries are under military leadership and if it were to become a union, it would be the largest country ruled by military junta. In April, he declared a general mobilization 
of the population to support the military as rebel forces continue to increase the rate of their attacks. the planned restoration of democracy for 2024, stating that elections could not be held unless the insurgents were pushed back and the security situation had been improved. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.